Hey guys, it's Sam Banana PvP, and we're going to be going over the Tier 4 Cavalry Unit, the Elite Sapahis today, and dive into my first impressions, what I've learned while leveling these guys, and some gameplay and tips and tricks to get you drop kicking fools in no time. And if you find this video helpful, be sure to like and subscribe. Alright, so this is a Darkton setup I use in these guys. Um, this is by no means the optimal setup. Um, this is a brand new unit. This is what I'm using so far. Um, so I'm using blunt armor penetration, blunt damage, um, an assassination doctrine, a the four second cooldown removal of the uh, on the quick charge there, um, and also a health doctrine. I would definitely rather have a breakthrough here though. Um, for the veterancy line, I feel like uh, honestly with this unit, um, both lines are very viable. Um, uh, after trying both of them, I decided to go on the top line with them. Because they're, they're more tanky and it focuses a lot more on the stomp rather than the charge. I mean, you definitely give up a lot of damage by going on the top line. But, I mean, the stomp lasts for an extra two seconds. And honestly, outside of their stomp, a.k.a. crew paid, um, this ability I'm going to show you in a second here. Uh, they're really, they, they don't do that great in melee outside of their uh, abilities. So, that's why I, I focused on that. And you get, uh, you know, 15% uh, range damage mitigation, which is huge. But like I said, you can do either line. Um, just try try them both. You know, see what works best for you. Um, they get a couple of really cool passive stat, uh, uh, passive traits. Um, one is like when you kill a hero, you get thirty percent more damage for a short duration. When they initially take damage, they, they increases their defense like super high for for like ten seconds. And on top of that, they're fireproof. So with all that fire slinging around right now, you get a lot of incendiary archers out there and just, a, you know, muskets, you know, longbows, whatever, anything that can sling fire. Um, it's really good to have fireproof. These are the uh, career stats that I have so far in them. I mean, I, I got like, you know, was it like 70 games in with them or something. And for a new unit I just picked up, they're good. I mean, look at these Imperial Archers, a unit that I'm, you know, decent with and I've played for a while. Uh, the stats are pretty similar and I think I'm going to close that gap here in the near future. But yeah, first impressions, I love them. <laughs> Beastie, yeety, chunky, boys! <laughs> now we're going to get into the tips and tricks portion of the guide. And to start, we're going to go to the unit training area, which you can get to by speaking to the billeting officer in your region's main city. So there's been a couple different ways I've been using their, their abilities. This is like, a, I, I like to call it the charge into stomp. You know, they, they, you, know they, you charge them in, and then you hit the crew page. So you move them forward, start charging. Right when they get on top of the enemy, Hit crew paid. You hit the stomp, boom, and then they, they hit them like all all at the same time. You know they, they synchronize and they all stomp at the same time. All right, so we're gonna get in some actual gameplay soon. But um, this is another way you can use the stomp. So you, you like X in, you X over the unit, then you stomp, and then you use the charge to charge away. It's more of like an agile play style. You know if you have to like get in and get out really quick because they're a really slow unit, this is the way you want to do it. And one more tip I'll give is just, you know, it's great getting in there with your hero. You know, use your hero to CC uh, the heroes, especially. Heroes are the biggest problem that I've found so far, you know, stunning my units. Um, but that's that's about it. And um, also, I'd like to mention, um, if you guys, uh, I have some awesome creator packs uh, being in the content creator program, Conqueror's Blade. Um, you just use the creator code, HandBananaPVP, all lowercase letters, and you get can get some really cool unit attires. Along with supporting the channel, and I can make this even better experience for you guys. So I want to make this the best possible experience I can for you, because without you guys, none of this would be possible. All right, let's get into some gameplay. All right, here we go. So we're on uh, Kirk Castle here. So we're charging through. Uh, we're trying to defend the B point. We took out you know, the whole unit of Imperial Spears. Uh, I'm just looking around, trying to see what to do next. Um, I see some uh, you know low-level spear, uh, spearmen coming through. Um, I X through. X right on top of them. And I do the stomp, boom, get a hero kill, so you get the 30% increased damage. Another hero kill. <laughs> I am just absolutely loving the stomp on these guys. These things are so much fun to use. Another one here on Carrot Castle. I think it might have been the same match, actually. Yeah, it's a good match. Um, so I, I'm coming around the supply point. I see that there's Imperial Pikes advancing. I'm going to try to time it just perfectly to the stop of the advance. I did. And charge in, stomp, and just absolutely get rid of that whole unit. Whole unit gone. This guy's like, where's my unit? And <laughs> he's getting out of here to go get some more. All right, and then we're moving through here. Just checking out the situation. Get another assist randomly somewhere. Um, I think there's one more guy left back here. Yeah, we just do a quick chop. Oh, say a lot about. <laughs> um, then we're going to go around here. Now there's a bunch of troops on the B point. Oh, my God. It's absolutely flooded. I'm like, what am I going to do? Uh, I don't know how to use these things too well yet. 
Um, so I'm going to keep, uh, just keeping an eye on it, keeping an eye on it. Uh, okay, let's go. Um, nope, not that way. Let's go this way. <laughs> um, and then we're going to go in here. Uh, and we're just going to do, uh, you know, what I always do. Yeet! <laughs> going right in there, charging in. And we start getting some nice kills. Put the stomp down. And, uh, yeah, the, uh, we, cleared, we, we cleared a good amount of the point here. Got a hero kill. So in this clip here, we're defending on Riverlands. Uh, some troops coming down the stairs, like the back stairs uh, by the A point there. I'm like, okay, you know, I got to move my guys in here. You know, do the charge. And we're going to activate the stomp. And we just start getting a bunch of kills. Oh, my God, I got in there with my hero. Starting to dachi and all, all up in there. <laughs> bunch of assists. Oh, hero kill. Uh, it, it was crazy. Like, they, they, like, the damage was, like, radiating up the stairs. Here we are defending on one of my favorite maps, Allenberg Siege. Um, there's a big push coming through the front gate, so I charge in. And then I activate Stomp. And I start getting a bunch of kills, jump off of my hero, start CCing, start Tiger Clawing. Um, and then I got, got a nice hero kill, so I got the boost for damage. And that was a nice little, you know, just stop that push. You know, I got a decent little sequence here from the free battle last night. Uh, starts off with us activating a Stomp, getting a hero kill. Uh, up on top there by the B point, you know, killing some of the ranged up there. Um, we start going down. Uh, we're going down to the, try to, you know, defend or take the B point here. Sorry. So we're going through here. I see a bunch of troops are coming to the B point. Um, right here, I activate the charge uh, on these, uh, this piece on the hill here. And in my, my experience thus far, these guys are great for taking up a piece as well. Um, you know, the, you activate, I activated the stomp right on top of them. Completely deleted the whole unit of piece. Moving on here, I see some uh, Namcans in the back. So this is a good uh, showcase here of their melee. It's not that great. Um, like if you're just like X and throw, or even the V attack's not that great. But I mean, if you're in there with your hero, um, you can kill like, you know, range units and stuff with it just fine. Uh, at this point, we're just trying to clean, clean up, looking around. We got this hero kill. We're going to like try to get the hero kill on him here. And yep, we do. <laughs> a little stomp got him there. If y'all made it this far, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it so much. Uh, my final review for the unit is it's, it's a great unit. I, I mean, for the for Tier 4 Cavalry, uh, we finally have one. Uh, I think it's going to be great. Um, and it, as I always say, if you found this video helpful, be sure to like and subscribe because we are going to be making a hell of a lot more of these in the future. Thank you, people. I love you. Have a good one.